All right, so I've got a question for you. When was the last time that you seriously sat down and just thought about your personal purpose in life? Now, let me just preface this by saying I'm not going to sit here and try and get all philosophical on you, and I don't want to cause anybody an existential crisis here. But the truth is, if you're like many hardworking people who are busy most of the day, the chances are that you just don't have the time to spend thinking about such lofty, abstract questions like this one. But what if I told you that a very real financial value is associated with having a sense of purpose in your life? A value that can literally be worth many, many dollars and cents to you. Now, are you paying attention? What if I could tell you you can make 10,000 a month from this or even 20 or 30 or 100,000 per month? I hope that catches your attention because in today's video, what we're gonna do is talk about a recent study that seems to reveal a relationship between financial wellness and having a direct purpose in life. Stick around. All right, guys, welcome back to the VIP Financial Ed channel. This is Matthew, your cash flow coach, coming at you again. And the subject of this video may seem a, bit, a little bit more philosophical than what you're used to here on our channel, but when you understand what some recent research is showing us about how purpose in life actually financially relates to you, then it might help make you think differently about why you do anything at all. So before I reveal the most remarkable findings of this research, I wanna ask you, why do you get out of bed in the morning? You know, what is your purpose for getting up in the morning, your purpose in life? What are the goals that you've set for yourself? And do you actually check on your progress regularly. I want you to be thinking about these questions as I tell you about this study from the Journal of Research and Personality published here in 2016, which seems to expose a very interesting relationship between purpose and profits. And it's something that we might have thought about, but we never really knew for certain. This study shows that having a distinctly defined purpose in your life can actually be a strong predictor of increased net worth and better overall financial well-being. Now, let me give you a little bit more background here about this study. It involved longitudinal surveyed data collected by thousands or from thousands of middle-aged United States residents, all of whom are part of what is known as the MIDUS or the MIDUS study. Now, what the Journal of Research in Personality sought to do was to see if there was actually a connection or a correlation between having a higher net worth and actually believing that life has a purpose. And as it turns out, those surveyed actually indicated that they do have a clear purpose in life, had a higher net worth. And once the data was poured over, the difference in net worth between those who did report having a purpose and those who didn't end up having a purpose actually ended up being $20,000 more on average. It looks like purpose actually has a really big price tag after all. So a causal link between purpose in life and wealth can actually also be found in the workplace. There was a recent study through Forbes, it was an article that includes a report from the Chartered Institute for Personnel and Development, or the CIPD, which found that workers are actually happier and more productive when they feel they're under the leadership of managers that lead with purpose. So if your boss has clear goals and a purpose for his or her life, then you will stand a higher chance of being more fulfilled in your work. It stands to reason that employees who are happier and more satisfied with their job are gonna actually end up making more money in doing this, as increased earnings would seem to follow naturally. This is why nearly every medium or large size company you can think of has an expressed mission or vision statement, and these bold overarching goals are usually meant to serve as a driving force for achieving success in whatever industry the company participates in. And this confident, pursuit of progress towards specific goals, in large part, is what makes these companies attractive to investors and even potential employees along the way. So I truly believe that without purpose, the point of improving financial well-being becomes moot. Because after all, if there's no purpose to the profits that you're making, why spend so much time and effort and energy building them? Money itself doesn't contain a purpose within it. It's the strategic use of that money that will give you the freedom to live life on your own terms. So are you able to answer the question for yourself? Those questions that I asked earlier, why do you get out of bed in the morning? And what big, bold, hairy, audacious goals do you have for yourself? Go ahead and don't be shy. Share a few of those things, a few of those goals in the comments below. I wanna read them. I wanna see what it is you're targeting. What are you going after? If you haven't given much thought to this, what your purpose is, 
perhaps this video is going to be that gentle nudge to revisit the topic. If you do need an incentive to do this, don't forget that there's about $20,000 on average improvement to your income in it for you. And it's my personal belief that once you determine what your purpose is, it's not about $20,000 per year improvement. That's the average. If you're gonna be the anomaly, we're talking tens of thousands of dollars per month different when you finally identify your personal purpose. I hope this video got you thinking about your goals. So remember to like this video, stay subscribed. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button. Make sure there's a D following it and hit that bell as well because it'll let you know every time we upload new content to this channel. We're here to help you go further, faster financially. And for most of us, it's all gonna start up here in your mind. So these videos are important, guys. We'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. Make it a great day today and take care. All right, so I realize that some of you have not gotten one of the single most popular budgeting tools available, not to mention it's free, and that is called the Cash Flow Cruncher. So what I wanna to do today is walk you through the process of downloading your very own copy. It comes in the form of an Excel spreadsheet, so it's very easy to use, and uh, it's quick to navigate. So let's go ahead and walk through that process together. The first thing you'll do is in the search menu, you'll go to cashflowcruncher.com, which will take you to the download page. Simply type your email address into the field to claim your free copy and go ahead and select the red button. Immediately, it'll pull up the download button, which will open a new Cashflow Cruncher spreadsheet. Now you can see I've already got a copy open and enlarged here for you to see. The first page it'll open is the Cashflow Summary tab which is a non-editable page. It's very important to understand that this opening tab is, uh, will not require you to put any information into these fields. This actually imports the data from the other tabs below. Now, if you've ever used an Excel spreadsheet, you'll navigate the spreadsheet by going to individual pages down here. And it'll start with the revenue and assets page. On this page, you'll wanna itemize each individual income that you bring into the household or the business. Now, it's always been my recommendation that you create an individual cash flow cruncher for your businesses, an individual cash flow cruncher for your real estate, and an individual cash flow cruncher for your household.